Let's talk about security. When you're working with sensitive client data, you might have access to things like their home address, their office address, their credit cards, even their social security number. You need to make sure that you're saving those in some place really secure. You're not writing it down on a piece of paper. There's no way you're gonna lose it or accidentally delete that file off of your computer. For that reason, I recommend that you get a password manager. Now, password manager is something like LastPass, which you see here on the screen. And what this does is it holds all of your passwords safely and securely in one place. Now, there are a couple things to know about LastPass. Although this is my favorite tool, you can always check out some of their alternatives, which are competitors like Dashlane or 1Password. But the reason I like LastPass is because they offer a few additional safety and security tools that I really like and find pretty handy. Now, first and foremost, you can get the free LastPass account. And under this free account, you can list as many passwords and secure notes like credit cards and bank account info uh, as you want. Now, there is a feature where you can actually create a folder to share passwords with a client. And I really like this feature, but that does not come with a free account. You'll actually have to upgrade to the premium account, which is, I believe, just $2 a month. Anyway, let's hop on and I'll show you exactly what the vault looks like and what it looks like when you use LastPass with the Chrome extension. So when you're new to LastPass, you'll want to sign up for a Get LastPass account for free and they'll have you enter your email and password details. Uh, something else to know, they will ask you to sign in with a master password. This is a master password that opens up the entire vault for all your other login information. And you need to make sure that you remember what that master password is at all times. Because if you don't, if you lose it or you forget it, LastPass makes it very difficult to log back in and see your other passwords. And trust me on that one, you don't want to do that. So just make sure that you have your master password somewhere safely stored and or is something that you will remember. So here I am inside of my vault. And when you start adding passwords, you'll see a similar breakdown. LastPass likes to divide different websites into different categories. So some of them might be dining. That could be something like open table, uh, education email. You can see here on my screen. Now let's take a look on the left hand side. You'll see here there's a couple things, websites, secure notes, sharing centers. Well, first and foremost, under your sites heading, this is where you can add websites if you want to save something within LastPass itself. So for adding a website that's new, let's say you've just signed up for a brand new account with uh, NordVPN, which is something that we're going to talk about in the next lecture. Now you'd want to save your login details for that program, right? So you'd come into your vault and you would click on this red button down in the corner and you would just click on add site. And here's where you can add your details in like the URL. So it might be nordvpn.com, the name. You can here categorize where it needs to go. Um, so you can see they don't really have a security folder, but I believe you can actually make one yourself. Then it would be your username and the password that you've elected to use for your new NordVPN thing. And you can add any notes here if you want. I don't find that's really super necessary. And then you'd save that. So once that's saved, LastPass will save all those login details right here in your vault. Now the theory is when you log into NordVPN in the future, you no longer have to remember those login details, which is really handy when you start to assist with clients and you end up having hundreds of websites that you need to get into. Uh, the other thing you can do is add secure notes. So you see here, I have a lot of credit cards saved already, um, but it doesn't need to just be credit cards. You can actually come over here to secure note, add a secure note, and that can be something like um, address, bank account, credit cards, driver's license. I believe there's actually, uh, yep, there's a passport and social security. All of these things are really handy. And in fact, I have all of these things for a lot of my clients. So I keep all their details safely secured in LastPass as well. Now I did mention a sharing center, and this is something that's really handy and I've used with other clients before. But if you've uh, opted for the premium account, you can actually create a shared folder. So you'll see this shared item underneath the sharing center. If you were to click on this, you can actually create a new item. So here's the cool thing about this. If you're working with a client and you have to have access to a lot of their login details, something you can do is create a shared folder for the two of you. Now that means you have to come here 
you would add their email address right here under this form. And then you have a choice. You can either share one item or you can create an entire folder, meaning you can name it your client's folder. So let's pretend you have a client who works at Apple. You can name this folder Apple Passwords, and then you can put passwords in and save credentials and your client can save passwords. So there will come times where your clients uh, might not always tell you something. Like I've had clients sign up for new accounts on weekends or after hours late at night. They don't always tell me or remember to tell me that they've signed up for a new account somewhere. So the next time they say to me, hey, will you go check my Airbnb account? I have to go back and say, I need your login details, blah, blah, blah. Sharing a folder with them is so much faster because they can simply save their new login details under LastPass and then you can access it. And that's because you both have access to this shared folder. Something else I wanna show you what I think is really, really cool and crucial is the LastPass extension. So the nice thing about getting this extension for Chrome, and if you're looking for this extension, you can just type in LastPass for Chrome and it should come up right away. Yeah, there it is. So the cool thing about this is that anytime you log into any website, you don't have to go through your vault and look for the specific site that you're trying to log into. In fact, it just pops up with your LastPass account. So if your client asks you to log in on one of their websites or on their behalf, you don't have to ask them for their password and you don't even have to open the LastPass vault. And that's because the extension already knows to autofill certain details in for you. So you'll see this little icon with a one that indicates that I have one email and password associated with this website. And you'll also see that it automatically pulls up my email and when you continue, it automatically pulls up my password. Now this is something that I think is really handy. Of course, you don't have to ask LastPass to keep uh, all your passwords up at the forefront. Like if you're ever worried about somebody stealing your laptop and going to Amazon and saying like, great, their password's already stored you don't have to do this option. In fact, you can tell LastPass not to remember certain things so that when you do go to a, a website, if this wasn't auto-saved, you would simply go up to your extension and then you'll see here under form fills, you can just click this option fill and it will do the same thing. So that's just a little workaround. And again, if you don't want your details automatically saved on a website, you can go up to the extension, come under form fills, and fill and that's when it will pull all your data and details from the LastPass vault and put it into your website. The last thing I'll say about LastPass which is super handy is that if you are creating a new account for a client, let's say they ask you to create a brand new account for them for United Airlines, instead of asking them what they want their password to be or if they don't really care and they want it to be something long and super secure, there's something really neat that LastPass does for you. So if you click back on the extension, you can actually do this generate secure password. And then it will ask you if you want uh, any number of length. I think you can go up to 100 characters, which might be a little overkill, but you get it. You can pick 10 characters in length and LastPass generates this totally random string of letters and numbers. So this could be handy too, again, if you have a client who doesn't really care about the password that you're saving necessarily, or if you yourself are trying to make accounts for you, and you don't necessarily care to remember it, this is an awesome way to make sure that you're doing something really, really securely. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, check out our full course on Udemy, the must have tools for virtual assistants. The full course comes with over two and a half hours full of tutorials that are on demand. Be sure to check it out up on Udemy, search for must have tools for virtual assistants, or go ahead and look up our account under F the office.